this race. He got much better as a candidate. He got much better as a campaigner. He uh, was sharper in debates. And I think that he's got a lot to offer the state. And I think for the Republican Party, he's got a lot to do. Okay, Andy, stand by. Let's listen in. This is a great country. We are so fortunate to live in New Hampshire, and I am grateful for the opportunity to chat with you this evening. Thank you to everyone for being here tonight and for being with us through this campaign. I feel a huge debt of gratitude to the thousands of people throughout the state who have supported us, to our volunteers who have risen early, campaigned hard, and returned home very late week after week to move us forward. You have inspired and humbled me. To my staff who have worked tirelessly with me to get us where we are, you have helped me be the best possible candidate I could be. To our friends in Concord and from around the country who have lent us their political experience, you have wisely guided my campaign. You all have made and have my most heartfelt thanks. There's, of course, one person who deserves my thanks more than any other. She's standing beside me now. And she has always been beside me. Throughout everything I've done in my life, my wife Judy has been there as my partner, and I would not be here tonight if it weren't for her. As we look back along the campaign trail, this has been a truly amazing journey. As a first time and unknown candidate, we've achieved remarkable things, thanks to you. To go from a standing start, 7% name recognition, and Judy didn't know who they were, to bringing this race to a competitive finish is an incredible accomplishment, and you should all be proud of what you have done. Yeah. I will always be proud of what you have achieved tonight. We ran a campaign based on the idea that New Hampshire can do better. We know we can. That we can once again be the economic engine of the Northeast. It's the idea that makes, that what makes our state great is the opportunity, the opportunity to work hard and build a better life for you and your family. Our message was one of optimism and hope that as Granite Staters, we, re, we can remake our own future and build an economy which will create opportunities to keep our young people here. And we ran this campaign for the people who matter most, our children and our grandchildren, mine and yours. Our state faces some fundamental challenges in the years ahead. We have a stagnant economy that right now isn't creating the right kind of opportunities. And it's not generating the revenue growth we need to invest in our future and care for the less fortunate members of our society. I wish the governor well in tra tackling those challenges, and I hope Democrats and Republicans can come together to put people above politics. Above all, I hope that one day, New Hampshire, the ha New Hampshire I knew in 1999 will return and bring with it the opportunities that brought me here, opportunities which will keep our young people in the state. Until that day comes, Judy and I will be looking for winds of change to see how we might continue to contribute to our state. Finally, I would like to thank the people of New Hampshire for their patience, 
engagement, and interest. Spending time getting to know you better has been the best part of this endeavor. Judy and I have loved traveling across our state, meeting the warm and hospitable folks that we are lucky enough to call fellow Granite Staters and neighbors. Whatever the future holds for New Hampshire, the temperament, character, and the live free or die spirit of our people will help us work towards a brighter America. When I started this campaign, I said that I knew five things to be true. And they are, I know of God's grace. I know of the love of my wife. I know that my son, who's 39, still thinks of me as his hero. And I know of my love for my daughter-in-law and my two granddaughters. And I know of the goodness and greatness of the United States of America, and I will never, never surrender it to those who don't. Again, thank you all for being here this evening. Thank you for your extraordinary support for me and for Judy. Good night. So, so there you have it, Walt Havenstein conceding to incumbent Governor Maggie Hassan in a a warm speech to his supporters, warm remarks for his family, and he sounds like a gentleman who may be back in the picture again very soon. So the Democratic incumbent in the corner office holds in this race. Let's go back out to our political director, Josh McKelvin, who is at Hassan headquarters. And uh, Josh, let's check in with you about this race and uh, talk about the fact that it, it appeared as if it certainly was 